Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ASTC. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame that is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Not only was it a crazy movement today from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support and then we can talk areas of resistance as we head into next week. First level of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up above $5. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the price falls below five, that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to actually stay up above five, that would definitely be a huge sign of power going forward. Next level of support after that would be this previous little miniature breakout point right down there around 435. So five and then 435 are gonna be the two nearer term levels of support. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the bigger picture point of view, that's where the purple line comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving, as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, this right here being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price can stay above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full control, the bulls are in full health, However, you can best visualize that, no questions asked. Sure, staying above five, that would be great. But grand scheme of things viewpoint, as long as the price stays above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? In terms of where the sellers are at, I think there's a little miniature one that seems to be right here at basically $5.65. Uh, but then the overall one is just simply where the party stopped today, and that's right up there at just... Uh, just above six, but you can call it six to make it easier to remember. So these will be the next key levels to, to break if any sort of continuation is going to, to uh, you know continue to play out. Overall though, anyway, slice it, nice move today. And as long as the price over time begins to start to build higher bases, go through healthy consolidation, then everything else takes care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on building higher lows and then just sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.